Hi, welcome back to my studio. Roger's back and now we're back in business. And I have been busy the last two days. I have tidied up the back of the Beacon Hill house. I've done a lot of finishing off. I've put some wood strips in, covering the raw edges. And it's looking good. And I've got one or two little bits and pieces to um, deal with, little unfinished bits, but I'm sure that's going to be happening today. And the reason why I have been a bit slow on the opening of this is that I've been waiting for a lighting order to come in. We had ordered these online. And these are little LEDs. <clears throat> and they operate by touching them with the sprue thing. And they go on. So if they're in your house, you just go along with your little blue gadget and you wave it underneath the light and it goes on. And when you want it to go off, you come back and you touch it again and it goes off. So I'm going to have lots of fun with these. Now I just have to pause for a moment. Okay, so I had to pause a little bit to get my plans in order. But I have been working on the plans for the Tudor house. And this is a side view. Haven't quite finished this. And you can see that there's going to be a few protrusions, protrusions out the front. A little window, a little casement window on the top. And another with, with a fairly big window and a big heavy sill down here. And I'm going to, I'm working on the detail of the chimney. I'm going to break it up because it's a big tall chimney and I'm going to put different designs of bricks in it. Now the, I've been thinking about how I'm going to do this a lot while I've been scribbling. And I think I'll make a, a uh, stencil on my Cricut machine and do the bricks with the stencil. And that way I can really customise that stencil and get it looking the way that I want it to look. So I know I've got to do a bit of buying with stencil paper, but that's fine. So apart from the side view and the front view, I've just got the floor plans to do now. And then when I have the floor plans done, Roger can have a look at them and work out a lighting plan for the first time he gets to do the lighting from the word go. And he's quite excited about that. So that's good. All good. Carrying on, I told you I've been busy. I've been making a little Tudor chest. <clears throat> it needs to be sanded, it needs to be finished, and it needs the hinges applied to the top. But it's quite a nice little chest. And so that's been something I've been doing as well. So uh, I'll have that all done tomorrow. So not a very, um, not a quiet period of time for me. I think that I managed to do everything, feed the animals, feed the dog, feed the cat, look after my mum, do my minis. Um, been pretty full on in the last two days. I'm surprised um, that how much Roger does when I'm, I don't notice. <laughs> and he's nodding sagely. So I shall see you tomorrow.